everybody, I'm Lisa Fulmer and welcome to my studio. I'm really glad to be here today. I've got a great project to share with you. We're going to take some autumn leaves and we're going to frost them and get them ready for winter. This is going to make a great centerpiece for your holiday table. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is collect your leaves. These are leaves from my neighborhood when I went on my morning walk with my dog. And you want to look for a variety of colors and shapes and sizes. So we've got some nice little ones that are a darker color. And they've got a really lovely yellow uh, tip. We've got some medium sized leaves. We've got some larger sized leaves. So the first thing we're going to do is seal the leaves with your favorite um, medium. Just take a medium for decoupage and we're going to just take a, a nice wide paint brush and just give it a good coat. I'm working on a non-stick surface. This is just a, um, a parchment paper. and We're just going to give it a nice nice coat on the front and back and set it aside to dry and we'll do that with all the leaves. So when you've got it nice and glossy then we're going to apply a second coat in order to add some glitter. Now for the second coat, I'm really only going to focus on one side of the leaf. I'm just going to add a little of the medium to one side because I want to keep uh, the glitter just on one side. And this is what's going to give it a look like it's been tipped in snow. So we're going to take it to the glitter tray and I've got some lovely uh, white glitter that I mixed it with a little silver. And we're just going to sprinkle that on there, tap off the excess, and look at that. Now you have lovely snow tipped leaves. Alright, so now I have all of these beautifully snow tipped leaves and I'm going to start gluing them together using a little bit of the original tacky glue. If you've got some really thick stems they may or may not help you. I'm going to leave this one at the top just in case it might be useful to attach a ribbon to. I'm going to start with my larger leaves at one end and gradually build an arrangement with the smaller leaves, letting the tipped edges um, stick out. So now I'm going to add some glue in the areas where the two leaves are going to touch and they will glue to each other. The tacky glue holds them really nicely. And I'm going to kind of alternate my colors and shapes. I'm just going to work my way from the larger leaves to the more medium sized leaves as I move down. And if the stem isn't helpful, I'll cut it off. So now a little time has passed. I bet you didn't miss me, did you? But I let this dry overnight and you can see that we've still retained a lot of the color but many of the leaves are starting to sort of curl up a little bit as they dry and the um, medium is still protecting them though so they're not getting too crispy and I really actually like how it turns out the next day and the day after because the little edges curling up gives it a lot of extra texture. So to further embellish this, I wanted to keep it simple and so and I wanted to keep it kind of snowy. So I found these sprays of um, icy twigs at the craft store and I cut a couple of pieces off and I just um, used some green floral wire to wrap them around the stem at the top and uh, left it just like that. And instead of doing a big bow, or I was also looking at pine cones and birds and all kinds of things, instead of doing any of that, I decided to channel my inner Candace. And um, she's taught me all about uh, the beauty of curling wire and creating a little wire wrap. So that's what I decided to do here for the stem. I just created um, a spiral by wrapping some wire like this around the edge of a pencil and made a nice spiral to scoot right over the top of 
these um, stems and then I took my jewelry pliers that have the round nose and I curved a nice small curly cue for the edge. And so now we've got this cute little hook that I could hang it with or it also looks nice and finished as a just like a little finial for laying this on the table. And I really actually like the size of it for a tabletop centerpiece. It's nice and small and it looks adorable with a little frosted candle right in the center of it. And there you have it your frosted leaves tabletop decoration. And you know it wouldn't be possible without Aline's original tacky glue. I have the monster bottle because I use it so much I just don't know what I would do without my tacky glue. So thanks for joining me. I'm Lisa Fulmer and me and Susie here, we think it's cool to craft.